So let's say hello to them right now. Johnny is live on the show. I'm delighted to say hello to Lauren and AJ. Good morning, you two. Good, Good morning. morning. Great to have you there this morning. And look, what a weekend you had. And uh, it was just great to see you doing... By the way, my wife's one of your biggest fans, just to mention that. Um, so, look, terrific. And uh, Rogers and Hammerstein, first of all. Uh, did you get to choose that, or was it chosen for you? So there were a couple of options in there, but obviously when we heard that song and the musical South Pacific, it just fitted for our American Smooth and honestly what a dance it was. I feel like it was Lauren's best dance. It was her highest score, an eight and three nine. So for me, it was her best performance to date, definitely. Yeah. And Lauren, you know, Craig said you performed it, you acted it, and I, I thought you were terrific. Oh, thank you. I I definitely enjoyed the American Smooth and I think I actually just felt the character. She's a little bit stubborn but she's a bit sort of soft when she falls in love. So I felt that I could just portray the character really easily. Yeah, let's have a quick listen to the music you were dancing to. Isn't it beautiful? Here we go. Dave Arch and the gang. <laughs> it's just so jolly. All we yeah. are just like rocking your head from side to side for no reason. <laughs> I impressed the team earlier who are too, far too young when I said Roger and Hammerstein featured twice on Saturday night because obviously the Lonely Goat Herb was also a Roger and Hammerstein from The Sound of Music. So it was a, a fest of their music on Saturday evening. Yeah, we did have to... Um check out the musical it wasn't one that I knew okay right well this is great and we loved it I've got lots of questions for you lots of mentions uh, AJ and Lauren and uh, Lauren first of all Hazel says who decides what dance you do every week so not the music yet but just the dance so the dances are decided like two to three weeks in advance so obviously everybody we all want everybody to have different dances so it's an entertaining show so that's slightly out of our hands Right, okay. And then the music, uh, Lauren, how does that work? <laughs> Lauren, sorry, the question back to me. Um, the music we find <laughs> out... <laughs> the music is like one or two weeks beforehand, and that does come down to our decision. Um, usually, when it comes down to musicals or movies or theme week, there's a bit more input via production, like this would be a good idea, or we could try this with props. But when it comes down to a normal week of music, then just kind of... We get a little bit more free reign, but obviously trying to find the correct song, that is one of the hardest things for me. Yeah, I'm sure. Lauren, the, the thing about your, and I know the word journey is used a lot, but for you on this show, it, it has been about coming out of yourself, acting, as Craig put it. Has that been hard? It's been super hard. And one of the hardest things that I'd never anticipated when going on the show, as an athlete, I don't really show much emotion. I have one goal, and that is to get the gold medal, and anything else is discarded. But with with the world of dance, you, you do perform and you have to act and you have to associate certain emotions to characters and be expressive. And I just have to learn to do that. And I think going forward, I'm always going to be an emotional person. Now. Yeah, this is, has it changed you? Like, cliche, but does it? Has it? Um, I think it's just opened my eyes. Um, and I think moving forward, that Strictly has been an absolutely wonderful journey. And there's so many things that I never knew about myself. I never knew that I could do. I mean, dancing for me is just really outside my comfort zone. And I'm, I'm just loving every time I get the chance to get out there and dance. But it's something that I'm going to look to do in the future just to keep dancing. And of course, anything that gets your nan on the telly <laughs> has, <laughs> sorry, has to be Blesser. good. <laughs> has to be good news. Shall we have a listen? Here we go. For the finals, it's the musicals week. I'm so proud of you for making it this far. This week, Laura and I are dancing an American Smooth to I'm in Love with a Wonderful Guy from the musical South Pacific. I guess you get to play the wonderful guy. AJ. <laughs> Hi, Nan. Hello. Oh, nice to see you. Yes, you too. Mm. Would you like to watch us do some dancing? Yes, you better be good. Oh. OK. <laughs> you better oh, be good. <laughs> bless her. She's 97 years old, and I think it was, she was a bit nervous. It's the first time she's ever been on TV or had to wear a microphone. I think yeah. the best thing is we were doing the, uh, <laughs> the VT with her, and we danced a little bit, and she goes... She, she held the 10 paddle up and covered up the one. She's like, that was a zero for me. I was like, whoa, Craig here is being harsh today. And then she was like, for, for the actual one, obviously she did put the 10 paddle up. But honestly, when she put the zero up first, I knew where she, Lauren, Lauren got that attitude from. Woo. I wish they filmed that bit, Lauren. That would have been funny. <laughs> <laughs> but still, that's lovely. So look, let's look ahead to this weekend. And what do we know? Uh, we'll, 
by Wednesday, we normally can reveal things a bit more. What are you dancing to? Um, do we know any more about costumes or anything yet? So this week, we've got two dances. It's the semi-final and our first dance, or well, I would like it to be our first dance, it's our tango. So it's kind of that, I think this is a good one for Laura because she's, she's very good at getting into character when it's quite a strong, independent, I'm going to take control type dance. So that works well for her. And then on that complete polar opposite, we have got a samba. So it's that party dance. It travels and progresses around the room and it's a real carnival feeling. And yeah, to be really honest, it's just dance. go out there and have fun, isn't it, Lauren? Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, hit, Lauren's let's talk, looking hit. at me right now. She's like, "Yeah, just, just smile, <laughs> yeah. have fun." Uh, so let's talk on uh, both those dances on on the samba. Let's talk hips. Um, any advice, AJ, for Lauren on that? I think it's just to let all your inhibitions go and really just have fun. Because when you do have fun, you're able to relax, and when you relax, it allows your body to produce that hip action. And we've got quite a few body rolls in there and kind of back bends because she seems to. You like a back bend, don't you, Lauren? Yeah, I just sort of throw myself at AJ, and then he just. Whooshes me around. <laughs> Hopefully, you think of it a bit more detailed than that, because yeah. yeah, Lauren, have you become more subtle, uh, supple in a different way doing this than to, to your sporting world? Definitely, there. My my core has gained so much strength, and I normally in like athletics and cycling, you just use your hip flexors and your legs in in sort of linear motions. My legs go to the side now; they go around in rotations. Amazing. So it's I think it's had a positive impact. Um, on my triathlon so that you know obviously a stronger core more mobility so yeah it's been positive incredible um, and uh, tango let's just talk heads aj because <laughs> getting that right is important isn't it honestly you'd be surprised because <laughs> yesterday all we've been talking about is heads yesterday there like i'm right so <laughs> promenade position so yeah. in that the terminology to look the way you're going mm-hmm. and a closed position to keep your head out towards, away from your partner. Lauren likes to stay in no man's land at the moment, so we need to make it very clear when she, her head is open and closed. And obviously, we want that staccato action of like, that it changes from side to side very quickly. And um, Lauren is improving on that side. I think yesterday, <laughs> when it got to like 9.30, 10 p.m. at night, we were like, I think we're done. <laughs> we're uh, cl- very quickly, you must say hello to uh, Francesca and Matilda. They are five and three. They're Amy's granddaughters. They go around to her house uh, every Saturday for a Strictly party and sleepover. Uh, in fact, Annie even does Strictly bedtime stories uh, mm-hmm. after the show. They dress up in dresses that are appropriate for the weekend. So if it's the Halloween weekend, they're wearing that, or the, the Blackpool weekend, they had lovely frocks on. So what, what do you want to say, uh, Lauren, to Francesca and Matilda this morning? I want to say thank you for their support and I'm so happy that they love the show and this weekend we will be dancing for them and doing the best that we can and that we hope that they enjoy it. Oh, that's lovely. And um, Talking about support, um, AJ, quick message to everyone in the South who's been voting for you too. I'm so happy for Lauren because the support from here is fantastic and we're going to keep it going because we need to be in that final. Yeah, you do. I want to thank you both. You're, you're lovely, lovely people too. And all the best for this weekend with the two dances. Uh, Lauren, AJ, from all of us here at BBC Radio 7, have a good one. Keep dancing. Thank you very much. Bye. Keep Bye. dancing. Keep dancing. Bye. Bye. Bye.